A typical thin tube heat exchanger looks something like this. We see there is an inlet and an outlet. These are both usually located on the same end. These connections are typically flanged, but they could be threaded or soldered depending on the application and the pressures of the working fluids. Running between the inlet and the outlet is a tube which will contain and direct one of the working fluids, for example, hot water. The tubes will be covered with many thin sheets of metal known as fins. The fins increase the surface area of the tube wall, allowing more heat to transfer. The other fluid, for example ambient air, will pass over the outside of this tube, between the fins. The two fluids will never mix. The heat passes from the hot water, through the tube wall, and into the air. The heat of the water travels out through the pipe wall and into the fins. The fins increase the surface area and allow more interaction with the airstream, which improves the heat transfer. In some designs, the fluid will simply flow through the entire length of the tube. Other designs will have the fluid pass through multiple tubes at the same time. These will be connected to a header at the inlet as well as the outlet to facilitate the distribution through the tubes. For example, these are used on a gas turbine power station to cool the intake air which will be sucked into the turbine and combusted. This helps the turbine run at optimal performance in hot and humid conditions. A chiller pumps cold water to the heat exchanger which then flows through the tubes. The warm ambient air passes over the outside of these tubes. The thermal energy transfers from the hot air and into the cold water. The air will leave cooler and enter the turbine. The water leaves warmer and heads back to the chiller, where the unwanted heat will be rejected back into the atmosphere. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about mechanical and thermal engineering, as this is the end of the video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.